Hi everyone, welcome to another quick black box tip. I wanted to show you a MIDI through that I think is way better than the other MIDI through I showed you. So I showed you a MIDI through where I had a custom setup on my launch pad, sending stuff to channel 16. Then I had my MIDI out to USB device through. So everything coming into channel 16 would go into the black box and send it out to the same channel, which works. <whistles> So the notes work and even the control change messages work. But if I do this and I have another sequence set up to MIDI, it doesn't send the MIDI to the device. So this kind of overrides everything, which is useful in some cases, especially for these control change messages. But I don't really want that. So I'm going to turn it off and say MIDI out enabled. I'm going to go to this setting, MIDI sequence, set it to channel one or whatever channel you have your MIDI controller to set up with. So I have this standard layout. You can also have a key step or whatever. I have it set to channel one. So all the notes coming in are sending channel one MIDI messages. Now, this one is receiving channel 16. My Korg vocal keys is ch receiving channel 16. So you don't hear anything when I turn and do this. I have another uh, device here. It's the Korg Op6. The Korg Op6 is set to channel two. You can hear it, you can't see it, but it's over here. But what I'm gonna do is send all these notes into channel one and send them to all my devices. So first of all, I'm gonna send my channel one messages to my black box. So I'm gonna choose a sequence, an empty one. So this one is empty, for example, and I'm gonna change it to keys then I'm going to choose the pad that I have selected over here this one I can also do this one by the way but in this uh, case I'm choosing this one and whichever sequence is the cursor is on so this is a cursor the the pink thing is a cursor you can change it like this or like this but if you do like this you change the active sequence and the cursor so I'm just going to use this sequence one and this sequence, or sequence 13, is set up to this no, this pad. So, if I use my MIDI controller coming into channel 1, sending the notes to my pad. Now, awesome. I'm going to choose another sequence, set it to MIDI, and MIDI out, I set to channel 2, which means... Now, all of these messages, if my cursor is on this sequence, are sent to my Korg Op6 over here. So, works. Cool, so if I go back to the other sequence, still my pad on the on black box. Now, if I go push this even further, I'm gonna choose a third sequence and set it to channel 16. Oh, it's already on 16 which is perfect, which is my vocal keys. So now if I, um, if I set my cursor to this sequence, sequence, fif sequence 15, I'm gonna hear the analog goodness of my, uh, of my um, I'm gonna hear the analog goodness of my quirk vocal keys. So six, 15, vocal keys. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this bug in a minute. Sequence 15, Korg keys. Sequence 14, channel two, Korg op six. And this is the black box device itself, or the pad itself here. Now, the downside to this is you can't send any control change messages. But to me, I don't know, it, control change messages are very worth, worth it. But in this way, I can control all my devices with one, or at least all the notes on my devices with one uh, MIDI controller, which is very powerful, I think. Um, now, one bug I've noticed is this. If I'm on my MIDI channel one, I'm sending this message. It doesn't give problems to the black box if I change mid note to another sequence, but I'm not going to do it on op six because I couldn't get it turned off last time. But if I go to this uh, 
play this note on my vocal keys and move away. So I moved away and it's still sending the note. So I have to go back, play the same note, otherwise it's just, otherwise it's just, it's just going to keep on playing. Try it again. Keeps on playing. What's that? Doesn't matter if I play other notes, I have to do the exact same note. No, wait. And then only then it turns off. I don't know what's that. Anyways, this was my tip. I hope you have a very nice day.